Today we will be showing you how to replace a power supply in a quantum scalar i3 and i6 tape library. This replacement may require downtime depending on your power configuration and if you have redundant power supplies installed in your library. Please be advised, the power supplies between the i3 and i6 are not interchangeable as they are different wattages. If you need to order a replacement power supply for your i3 library from the Rocket Platform website, please use part number 3-07014-03. If you need to order a replacement power supply for your i6 library from the Rocket Platform website, please use part number 3-07711-01. Now, the first thing you will need to do is identify where the faulty power supply is located. This can be done either via the web GUI or by observing the LEDs on the power supplies in your library. From the web GUI, you can look under status and then RAS tickets and the RAS ticket details will point you to the faulty power supply. Alternatively, you can also select the status section and look at the power consumption status. The power supply that is faulted will have a failed status. If you are going to observe the power supplies, you are looking for a power supply that has the fault LED illuminated and one or both of the AC-DC OK lights not illuminated. Once you have located the faulted supply, you will now need to determine if you need to power the library down for this replacement. If the faulted power supply is the only power supply in the module, you will need to power the library down if the supply is not completely dead. If you have redundant power supplies in the module, you can replace the power supply with the power on. This will generate a RAS ticket that will need to be cleared afterwards. If you need to power the library down, you can do so using the power shutdown menu from the front panel or the shutdown option from the web GUI. Once the library is powered down, if applicable, you can then remove the power cable going to the faulty power supply. Then undo the thumb screw holding the power supply in place. Once this is undone, you can pull the power supply straight back and out of the library and set it to the side. Line up the new power supply with the guide rails in the empty power supply bay. Slide the power supply in until it is fully seated and then tighten the thumb screw. Then fully insert the power cable into the new power supply. If the library was powered off, it will start back up automatically when you plug the power cable into the power supply. Now you should see both the AC and DC OK lights illuminated on the new power supply with no fault light illuminated or indicated as on. Clear any RAS tickets associated with the power supply faults and the library will now be ready for full operation. If you are having any issues with the power supply replacement or if the replacement power supply does not clear your errors, please reach out to us at support at and we will be happy to assist you.